Hi guys, I'm Gabrielle, owner of Strand Pilates, and this is Kelsey, Pilates instructor. Um, we're going to talk today about the pelvic floor and how to activate it through just a couple exercises here on the reformer machine. Um, the pelvic floor is part of the core. Um, a lot of times we have weak pelvic floors, which, which causes bladder leakage. Sometimes if you notice if you're laughing or if you're jumping, a little bit of pee comes out. That's totally normal if your pelvic floor is a little weak. So to activate that pelvic floor, we're going to do some exercises. Um, all right, so let's get started. We're gonna have the feet on the bar and the ball between the inner thighs. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna start with some breathing here. Relaxing the shoulders, take a big inhale through the nose. On the exhale, draw the belly button in towards your spine. Good, one more like this, one big inhale. On the exhale, draw the belly in, keeping neutral spine, heavy tailbone. Now keep doing that, Kelsey. I'm just gonna try to take the ball away, don't let me. Good. And let that help you find the pelvic floor a little bit more. So, when you exhale, try to lift your belly button up, almost like you're lifting your lower abdominals up off of your pubic bone. Good, nice, and I'm gonna release the ball. Go ahead and bring your legs to tabletop. Same thing here, inhale. On the exhale, draw the belly in and find that lifting up of the lower abdominals. One more here, I'm gonna try to take the ball away, don't let me. Awesome, good. Go ahead and rest your feet on the bar. Reach behind you, grab your straps. We're on a red and a yellow spring here. Arms up to the ceiling, legs to tabletop. So we're keeping a nice neutral spine, little space underneath the lower back, but the ribs are nice and tight to the carriage, tailbone stays heavy. Let's just do the arms for now. Shoulders pulling down your back, pull your hands down to the carriage on the exhale. Inhale to flip them back up. Working from the back, pulling the shoulder blades down, good. And focusing on your core and that pelvic floor today. So drawing the belly in and up, finding that lift as the arms lower, let's do one more like this. Good, reaching your fingertips as far as you can. Now on this next one, Kelsey, nod your chin, head and shoulders curl up, bottom tips of the shoulder blades, good, and hold, nice, good. Nice wide collarbones, heavy tailbone, heavy ribs. Hold it here, I'm gonna try to take the ball away, don't let me, feel that lifting of those lower abdominals, and then arms up, head down. One more like this, nod the chin, exhale, curl up, Pause, beautiful, good. Nice, and then arms up, head down. Rest your feet. Nicely done, good. Let's move to the second part. So I'm um, gonna take the ball out. And then Kelsey, take your time, but you're gonna come on up. So we lighten the springs to just one yellow, which is really light. So just be careful on your way up, yep. Okay, so our feet are gonna be parallel. Arms can start by your sides. We're not gonna stick the butt out. We're gonna really keep it almost tucked, just really heavy. Go ahead and press the carriage out, Kelsey, and open your arms out to the sides. Good, and then pause. Nice, so since the weight is light, it's gonna be a lot more inner thighs for this standing split. So we're gonna focus here on lightly engaging the glutes, wrapping the sit bones towards each other, drawing the belly in, Find that lifting of those low abs as you slowly pull the carriage back in with control. Good. And let's do a few more like this at your own pace. Focusing primarily on the way in. Good. Nice. Let's do a couple more. So the pulling in of the belly is gonna really activate that deepest abdominal layer, which is gonna squeeze your waist in place. Um, it's gonna narrow your waist. And then that lifting, so the belly lifting up is gonna activate that pelvic floor, which is muscle group, kind of creating a hammock here, um, lifting up your organs, so you're kind of trying to activate that. Good, let's do one more actually. On this next one, when you come in, try to grow taller so the crown of the head is reaching to the ceiling as you ground through your feet. Nice, good. 
Go ahead and carefully step on off. Awesome. All right, so that was a video about just little exercises you can do to strengthen your pelvic floor with the reformer machine. Hope you like it. Bye.